Tragedy in Washington State's Puget Sound, devastating a family here in the Twin Cities. A Shorewood couple was on a seaplane that crashed into the waters, leaving no survivors. Rebecca and Luke Ludwig leave behind two children. Courtney Godfrey joins us now. Courtney, authorities have suspended those search efforts. That's right, Amy. The NTSB just wrapping up a presser in the last half hour. Investigators dealing with a difficult scene there in Washington, recovering very little debris and only one body despite an extensive search. As you mentioned, among those believed to have been killed in the crash, a Shorewood couple who leave behind two children. Well, there was up to 10 boats within probably 15 minutes out there searching. Many describe hearing a loud boom off the coast. The few that saw it say the plane hit the water with a fair amount of speed, causing a 20 to 30 foot splash. But then nothing. We didn't see any smoke, we didn't see anything else. All of the 10 people on board the seaplane are presumed dead, including a pregnant woman and her child. Luke and Rebecca Ludwig of Shorewood among those still missing. I just feel really bad for the kids. You know, they're so young and then to not be able to say goodbye. Debbie Kiefer has lived next door to the Ludwigs for many years, describing them as friendly and kind, her heart breaking for their two school-aged children. It's going to be hard for them, you know, especially since I heard they gave up the search and there's no bodies. I mean, how do you process it? How do you grieve? In a statement, Rebecca's brother simply said, we're coping with this tragedy with overwhelming support from family, friends, and a loving community. Luke's employer saying, Luke was a deeply devoted father, husband, outdoorsman, and coach for his kids' sports teams. Known for his remarkable kindness and generous spirit, we were privileged to know his warmth, intellect, and humor. We will miss him deeply. The owner of the seaplane company telling local authorities that he saw the plane divert slightly off course Sunday, but was unable to make radio contact. The U.S. Coast Guard suspending the search yesterday as families like the Ludwigs are left with very little answers. Also among the passengers presumed dead, a Washington winemaker, a San Diego business owner, and Seattle civil rights activist. Randy. All right, Courtney, thank you. And new here in.